Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video I will show you another method for downgrading your iPhone 3G back to iPhone OS 2.0. So as you guys remember, I've done a video like this before, but the iOS 2 version I've used is basically in custom IPLW and the baseband was removed. So if you've looked to my should you downgrade video, you probably have noticed that the device don't read any SIM cards. So I found a method where I can downgrade the device to the real original. It's no custom IPSW, it's just the real deal. So you can call, you can send text messages. The only thing that won't work is the App Store. It cannot connect, I don't know why. And that's it. So. As you can see, I got this 3G in front of me. Um, I got do for the video and you can see there's the whole corner is missing. So um, it's running ice 2 right now and you're just gonna jump right in. So as you can see there on the top, the messages app is called text and it's written SMS. I have cellular connection. I'm just gonna reduce the brightness and connect to 3G so that you can see that's working. So it cannot connect to 3G data, I don't know why. So, just gonna have a look. Oh yeah, very connected. So as you can see here, there's the little badge 3G on the top. And it looks like this, if it will focus on. There's a 3G. Um, it's perfectly working though, so if you focus. you can see I have two messages right here and if I click on it there is the message um, it's working flawless and if you jump back in the settings and we're gonna have a look at this at the version number we can see that it's 2.0 so in this video I will show you how to do this if you prefer the custom version of iOS 2.0 and if you don't care about any SIM card or stuff um, you probably gonna go back to my first video that I link down in the description but if you really want to have the real iPhone OS 2.0 and if you want that the SIM card is working and that you even can call people with this device, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you need is a computer. I don't know if it works on Mac. I've done it on Windows. So let's see us later on the computer. So there, I'm back. As you can see, it says there is an update for the device. So not syncing, but no need for that. So as you can see, it says iPhone OS 2.0 there on the top. So cannot see it when I'm zooming in, but you can see there's an update. So what you need to do is I'm here on 2.0 version, as you know. So what I need to do is click Shift and Update. After that, it's gonna link me to my computer and I'm gonna choose iOS 4.2.1 for the update. And to be able to downgrade the device, your device must be updated to iOS 4.2.1. If your device is on all the firmware, it do not work, it will say error 1600 because I've downgraded the device to iOS 3.0 and it says an unknown error occurred during the 
installation please go to the apple support page or try it again whatsoever they are writing there and it doesn't read this as you can see it's now beginning with updating as you can see the apple logo put us by side again and just let it run so guys i'm back as you can see the device is now restored to ios 4.2.1 and what we gonna do now is first of all we're gonna activate the device so my computer wants to and the phone too yeah so the phone is activated it's unlocked and um, as you can see it says iPhones activated and now it's freaking out and I don't know what this thing is doing and um, it's rebooting so we're gonna configure rate this as new iPhone continue so I don't know why that's all written in German it's very very buggy so as you can see oh my gosh that animation bug it still hangs on there so syncing I don't care look at this how off my slide and it's buggy it's annoying I know it's iOS 4 but come on so what we have to do right now is put the device into oh my gosh so we have to come on why does everything be buggy so now so right now so now what we gonna do is put the device into the few modes so there are two ways to do this so first you use red snow or ireb i'm gonna link this in the description i know how to do it but i show you how to do it on red snow so um we're gonna open up red snow and browse for ipsws then we're gonna choose ios 4.2.1 ipsw for the iphone 3g and it says IPSW successfully identified, so we click next. So after that, we're gonna click on just enter pawn the few mode right now. Click next, and then we are turning off the device. Once the device is turned off, you're gonna click next and do what it says on screen. So click next and press for three seconds the power button, then for 10 seconds the power and the home button without releasing any buttons for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go the power button and keep pressing the home button for 15 seconds. So normally iTunes should recognize the device. So for me it take 10 seconds. So now we can close Red Snow and open up iTunes. So won't recognize it. So unplug, plug it again. Now it says it has re recognized a device in recovery mode so you click ok and then you click shift on windows option on mac and click on restore iphone so then you're going to choose the custom ipsw i'm going to leave a link down in the description for the custom ipsw and you're going to click on install so you open and we're going to let the device install the compute itunes install this version of iTunes of iOS to the computer. What am I talking? We let iTunes install the custom version 
on the iPhone. So that's what I want to say. See you later. So guys, I'm back and as you can see the device is booting. Sorry that I forgot to say you that there isn't the status bar when you're using this custom firmware. You only have the spinning wheel just a little bit higher than the home button. But don't worry guys, that's totally normal. And as you can see here, the device is now on iOS 2.0 gonna quickly jump into settings and this version is very very buggy it has no baseband as far as I know so you cannot use the SIM card and stuff so it's again changing the language uh, yeah so go back into settings and it's very buggy as you can see um, I don't care about syncing right now so if I, if you go into general about we can basically see that the device is on iOS 2.0 so what you have to do right now is you need to put the device into recovery modes this time so this should be pressing the home and the power button when connected to iTunes as long as it shows the recovery sign so we're gonna quickly do this hopefully hope it works I just yeah so we are now in recovery mode so iTunes said uh, it has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. So what you're going to click now is shift and restore iPhone and choose our iOS 2.0 IPSW from this download section. So I need to find it because I don't know where I put it. Um, as you can see, I have many, many IPSWs and I got them all twice. So it's everything for iPod, it's for iPhone 3G, S, it's for the iPhone 3G, oh, there we go. So I'm going to leave a link for the download of IPSWs and stuff. So you're going to click open. And after this, your iPhone should be on the real iOS or iPhone OS software. So... As you can see now the app logo comes and um, you're gonna normally have an error message or the device freeze in or stuck in recovery mode but don't worry i show you how to get out of there see you later so now that the device is stuck in recovery mode what you're gonna do is click ok and click OK again and click go out and then open a program called Wondershare Dr. Phone for iOS and uh, click yes that you want to open it and um, I'm gonna link this in the description as well um, normally oh yeah okay so as you can see 
it's written in German. Normally it should have the same language as your computer. So now it says your device is not in normal mode. Click on restart to go back in normal mode. So you're gonna click on this button right here and uh, it says your device is restarted. And as you can see the recovery mode logo has disappeared. The Apple logo is there iTunes is gonna popping up and the device is legitimately on iOS 2.0 so I have already opened iTunes so the device is booting right now and this is the real deal guys so in this version of iOS 2.0 as you can see you have to activate the device just like you just unbox it so iTunes won't recognize Okay, iTunes has recognized it, I guess, no, if iTunes doesn't recognize, okay, here's the little button, so iTunes has recognized mine, so just wait a bit, it can take a moment, so now we have white screen, come on, okay, so now it says uh, iTunes for you service, for a cellular service is a new update available I'm gonna install them right now so it's updating the carrier settings as you can see the device has already booted and I'm gonna click OK continue and configure it as a new iPhone so cancel this begin and you are legitimately on iPhone OS 2.0. As you can see, it's no jailbroken version, it's no customer version. I have cellular connection, I am in 3G. If I jump in the settings, in general, about, you can see that I am running iOS 2.0. So I disconnect this quickly. And I show you that this is legitimately running iOS 2.0. So as you can see there on the top is focus. The okay in English it's called text app. The 3G is in a little white. I don't know how to say it in English. It's uh, I forgot the word. But you know what I mean. So yeah. So. There's no spotlight search here. There's no studio installed. There's the old dock. And there's no, there's nothing. There isn't copy and paste. You cannot copy and paste on this firmware. Look. Look, I can double tap, but nothing will happen. So you cannot copy and paste on the firmware. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up. If you want to ask me something, leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's gonna be very, it was very, 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 very long. And uh, hopefully you really you've enjoyed the video stay tuned for more videos and peace out